Hi guys, welcome back to Natalie's Niche. So today we're going to be continuing on the topic purpose. Please stay tuned because we have a lot to chat about. So in this purpose conclusion video, we're going to be talking about the last four W's, which is the who, the what, the when, and the where to find our purpose. So in order to find our purpose, we have to ask this question, who am I? And I believe we all have asked this question at some point in our lives. And it's okay because identifying who you are leads to your purpose. I'm gonna relate this to religio, the word religio. And I learned this in my humanities class in college. Religio means tying back, you know, trying to find your roots. We have a lot of religions all around the world. One thing I would say is that if we think that religion has no bearing in our lives, then we have to think again, okay? Because I believe that, you know, having a religion, you know, to follow actually makes and gives you essence in your life. And for me, the way I relate to, you know, myself and who I am starts from me being a Christian, which is what I'm going to focus on in this video, because that is what I know. So for me to figure out who I am, I have to tie back to my maker. I have to, you know, relate to something that is bigger than who I am, which is God. And so I'm going to read this verse of the Bible for you. First, um, Peter 2 verse 9 and it says but ye are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light okay ra 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 all right so yo I just got goosebumps because if my maker if the God who created me is telling me that I am royal, that I am a holy nation, that he has called me out into his perfect light, you know, I have to carry myself with some kind of class, you know, with some kind of class because I am royal, okay? So this verse in the Bible makes me understand and makes me know my purpose, makes me know that I am a queen, makes me know that I was born to rule in this world. Identify yourself and tie back to your roots, tie back to God. And trust me, you will identify who you are as a person. So for me, I started to connect with who I was as a person by reading the Bible more, by praying, by studying the word, by listening and hearing words from the Bible like this that says that I am royal, that says I, I am wonderful, and then I am fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Like him telling me who I am, technically reinforces and lets me know who I am as a person. So the next one is the what. So what do you do, you know, when it comes to your purpose? I feel like for your purpose, you have to try to figure out, you know, what, what do you spend your day doing? How you interact with people, the things you do. Are you an introvert? Are you an extrovert? You know, that can actually determine what you can actually do in life and direct you towards your purpose. So I'll ask you two questions. What is in your hand? and what is in your heart. So I'm going to use this reference. What is in your heart? I mean, you know, on a daily basis, are you someone that, you know, loves to talk to people? Are you someone that is jovial? Are you someone that, you know, just loves to care for people? You know, I'll relate that to me. I just love talking. I talk all day, every day. If you know me, you will get tired of talking because I will talk your ears off. So for me, I had to look for a career that would let me talk to people, a career that was relating to, you know, people's services and me being of service to people because I find out that I, I get joy 
when I make someone else happy. Like it, it makes me happy, you know, when I can be there for somebody. So which makes sense for me to go into nursing because I can actually care for people, you know, see them do better and actually be there for them. You have to find out what is in your heart. Are you someone that loves to be around people? You know, look for a, a career that's relating to that. Are you someone that, you know, you, you, you're an introvert, you don't, you don't really like being around people because that makes you anxious you know but you you love you know talking you know you could do something that relates to you know phone service you know podcast you know something like that i love to be on the camera okay i love the attention that is why i decided to do youtube you were created for a reason that's one thing i have to tell you you're created for a reason you know your attributes your characters you know are unique to what your purpose so do not look at someone else and say oh i wish i was more talkative you know what your purpose you know might be may not need you to be really really outspoken what is in your hand what do you spend most of your time doing with your hands so i'm going to relate this to the bible verse um concerning moses exodus 4 verse 2 says and the lord said to him what is that in your hand? A staff, he replied. The Lord said, throw it on the ground. Moses threw it on the ground. And then it became a snake and he ran away from it. Then the Lord said to him, reach out your hand and take it by the tail. So Moses reached out and took a hold of the snake and it turned back into a staff in his hand. This saith the Lord, is so that they may believe that the Lord thy God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has actually appeared to you. So, what, what am I trying to say with this Bible verse? To Moses, he's been using that staff all along, okay? That staff was actually just a staff to Moses. He did not know the weight that staff had carried. He did not know the power that that staff carried. That staff carried power. That In that staff, signs and wonders to, to, to decorate and to free the people of Israelites from Egyptians, you know? But Moses did not know. I'm going to ask you, what is in your hand? What is something that you use on a daily basis that you do not know has power, you know, to actually be your purpose? God actually asked me this question when I wanted to start a YouTube channel. So apparently, I am someone that I love social media. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, one, I'm one of those people, okay? I love to be on my phone. But, and I kept, you know, postponing starting my YouTube channel. I was like, oh, I need to get this. I need to get that. You know, but then one day God just told me, what is in your hand? What is that thing you use constantly that could actually be your purpose? And I tell you right now, I do not have my phone in my hands because my phone is recording right now. And I started my YouTube channel with my phone. I do everything with my phone. Edit everything with my phone. I did not know the power I already had in my hands. So you might be like me. You scroll onto Instagram as a fashion designer. You know, you know you sell clothes, but you go on and you're like, oh, I like this person. So, oh, her page is nice. You know, why not start a page on Instagram and share your items, share the clothes that you've made? No one is perfect. You have to start anyway. Try to figure out, you know, the things you spend time doing. Make sure that it's connected to your purpose. Let it not just be you wasting your time. The next W is when. When do you start? You start now, okay? Fear will always try to cripple you from a favorable future. So please do not let it do that, okay? And if you read further in Exodus, you know, you actually see where Moses started making excuses. He was like, oh, I'm not eloquent enough. You know, I'm a stammerer. You know, God answered him and, and told him, who gave man their mouth? The spirit is here, okay? Who makes them mute or deaf? <laughs> who gave man power to speak? You know? 
God told him that technically I am sending you because all your excuses are nothing to me. So your excuse might be, oh, I don't have the money yet to start that business. I don't have the right amount yet. I'm waiting to have $1 million. I'm waiting to have 200000 before I can start that business. Start anyway. If it's two items you can buy, buy it. Start that business. Do what you can do now. Start it off. Because here is the thing. God does not like excuses. Because he has given you the ability. The ability is in you already. It's already in you. So when you ask me, when do I start at my purpose? You start now. So where do you start at your purpose, okay? So for some people, you know, purpose can lead them to going back to where, you know, where they started from, you know, to go back to their family back home or to go back to help people, you know, to, to help their generation, you know, to help their lineage, you know, just like Moses who his purpose, although he ran away from Egypt, his purpose was in Egypt to save the Israelites. That was his purpose. He, he couldn't run away from it. So for some people, you could be the one person that God has put in your family line to save your family line or to be the first, you know, the first CEO, to be the first nurse, to be the first doctor, to be, you know, God, God might have put you to go back you know, in your lineage, to go back, to go back to your home, to be the person that saved everybody. And then for some people, just like Abraham, God told him to leave. Okay. Leave this place, you know, and I will give you a place for you. I will bless you. I will make you a father of nations. You know, if you've been in a place or in a, in a state, in a city, and things haven't been working for you. I want you to pray about it. You know, that might not be the soil, the right soil that God has prepared to bless you. You know, because the, the soil in the land you live, you know, it's very important to what you destiny and your purpose. You know, because the soil has to accept you. It has to be a soil that, you know, that God has ordained you to grow in. Was it that God could not bless Abraham where he was? God could have blessed him. But God needed him to go to the soil, to go to the land that he has prepared for him, to be able to make him a father of nations. So it's something for you to think about. If you've been in one place, you know, in a city, in a, in a state, and things haven't been working out for you, maybe looking to move in somewhere. And for some people, the reason why that visa is not working, you keep going, you are going morning after night, one night, you are going every day, you are not accepting your visa. That might be because where you actually are is where God wants to bless you. That might actually be the right soil that God has prepared to bless you in. So today, as you've learned about the who, the what, the when, the where, you know, and if you've seen my previous video, you've seen the why, which is the five W's of life you know, connected to purpose. I hope that this helps you try to figure out, you know, try to find out your purpose because this will actually help, you know, give your life meaning and essence, you know. It will help you know why you are here, why we are all here. We are all unique in our own ways. And there's something, there's, God, God did not make a mistake to bring you here. No, he did not. There is something special inside of you and I hope you find your purpose. Tell me what you thought about the five W's of life and if it's something that you know I made you actually start to think about and try to connect yourself with. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope I blessed you. I hope I am a source of motivation to you. I hope that I am so, uh, uh, I hope that this community is a community that you know lifts you up every day and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. When you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell because that is how you know when I post a video. I am posting a video every Sunday just for you. Thank you so much for joining the family. If you're actually thinking about subscribing, but you're still thinking about it, you're like, I don't know yet. Please do it now. Start now, like I said. Click on this video and I appreciate you all for watching. Thank you so much. Thank you from Natalie's Niche and I'll see you next Sunday. Keep the faith always, always look good. 
and live your life.